look for the web drive icon on your desktop, double click it, left click one time on SSCSD OneDrive to highlight it, and then left click Site Properties. You're going to see the site name is your SSCSD OneDrive. You could change this, but it, why? Um, this is the address. It is going to be the Z drive, and it is going to connect at Login and Startup. So left click Login to OneDrive. You need to add your email address. and your password. Then click sign in. You have to accept these rules for signing in as you. You're giving it permission to sign in as you. Click accept and then close the window. Say OK. The final step is to right click on SSCSD OneDrive and then left click connect. And there it is. You'll see that you are connected as a Z drive and you'll see it's here and you'll see all your files for your for your OneDrive. So let's take a look. We're going to go to your start button and we're going to go to this PC and now you should see again your SSCSD OneDrive and what this means when you use WebDrive it means that you can now access this drive without having to log into Office 365 because when you accepted those permissions earlier to log on as you as soon as you log into the computer this drive should connect so you don't necessarily need to go into Office 365 you should be able to save to this drive from Word or Excel or whatever it's very much the way your end drive used to be. One last thing, you do need to remember that if you change your password, you will need to re-authenticate. You will have to go through the process of clicking on the web drive and re-authenticating by logging in with your new credentials.